So my name is Valerie Sartor. Um, I am a PhD and assistant professor at the University of Akron in the state of Ohio. And I am a literacy expert as well as a TESOL teaching English as a second or other language expert. And I came to Kazakhstan this fall at the end of August 2019 to become a Fulbright teaching scholar. I'm based in Kargul in Karaganda State University and I um, teach English there and then I also conduct teacher training uh, for Fulbright around Kazakhstan. I'm trained, uh, my um, PhD is in the College of Education, so I'm an educator, but most of my coursework is sociolinguistic. And so, uh, for example, my dissertation work looked at multilingual children and their linguistic choices that help them establish identity based on language. But practically speaking, in the United States, what I did was I trained primary, secondary, and other levels of teachers to accommodate uh, non-English speaking students. So I have both a theoretical and a practical perspective on teaching and so my expertise is in teaching language, helping teachers to understand the best methodologies for uh, teaching students who are uh, using English as a second or as in Kazakhstan as a third or fourth or fifth language. The Fulbright program in Kazakhstan is quite large and very successful. We have uh, this year three Fulbright scholars. One of them is myself, another is uh, Emma Howes, and we are both um, uh, senior scholars. We also have a Fulbright researcher named Kathleen Painter, and we have, I think, about 10 or 15 ETAs, English teaching assistants, uh, around Kazakhstan. I guess I can answer that question by first saying that all my Kazakh students and many of the instructors and professors I know here are already multilingual. So they speak Kazakh, they speak Russian, many speak German. Uh, at Cargo we have a French department as well and some of my students also speak Italian and Spanish. So whether English is necessary is really I think a matter of career choice as well as interest but English is definitely a global language and useful for people traveling around Europe or Asia, uh, useful in Kazakhstan for uh, employment opportunities, but um, whether they need this language or not I think should be decided by the students themselves. I am deeply impressed here. Uh, the level of English uh, here is quite high at, at Kafu, and the other thing that's impressive is the ambiance. The conditions and the environment for learning here is, is very comfortable and very positive. So what I see is more enthusiasm and more, I don't know, it's almost like more happiness just simply to be in this environment and as a result the participation in the workshops is very very energetic and high level and quite pleasant to to work with with the students and faculty here I think that because every student is unique and individual, what is motivating them to learn that language, English or any other language? And so motivation is the key component. So if I were speaking to young people, I would say, first of all, find out what motivates you the most and follow that motivation. Because if you are forced to do something that you don't want,
want to do or don't like, your motivation is going to drop. Um, in terms of finding a college or a place to study after high school, after graduation, I think the best thing to do is, uh, several things, is to interview different places, uh, listen to your parents, um, be reasonable about your choices, um, and then decide if the place that you're looking at to study fits the needs that you have in terms of the future career as well as the academic track that you're, that you're following. Uh, it's hard when you're young to make those decisions because people change their minds, but uh, seeking advice from more than one source and seeking advice for people who have your best interest. Your parents obviously have your best interest. And someone who is at, for example, at Kafu, I've, I've heard uh, Serik Abilov speak to parents. And he's looking out for young people's best interest. So I would, I would look for advice from people who care about you and who have a knowledge base. Я очень рада быть здесь, и мне приятно жить в Казахстане, и очень приятно, это была мечта меня, моя, приехать сюда, в Усть-Каменогорск, потому что я много читала, что это очень красивое место, и вот Алтай недалеко от нас, и это было для меня как очень, как дает мне радость быть здесь. И мне тоже очень рада, чтобы работать в Казахстане, потому что когда я работаю здесь, я чувствую и вижу, что студенты а, не только уважают меня, но они тоже, они очень гостоприемны и чувствую себя как дома. И поэтому я благодарю чтобы я фулбрай в этом году.